Lake Charles police are looking for someone who stole two zero-turn lawnmowers, and they believe it was captured on surveillance video. And we're live in Cameron Parish for the continuation of our This Is Home Road Tour. And the weather great for outdoor activities as the sunny, dry weather continues. And if you think it's cool this morning, we've got even cooler temperatures on the way tonight. Your forecast is straight ahead. Now in High Definition, sponsored by Nissan of Lake Charles. This is 7 News Sunrise. It's Wednesday, October 22nd, 2014. Hello there, I'm Charlie Haldeman. Brittany and Erica Bivens will join us in a moment. But first, meteorologist Ben Terry with a first look at your Wednesday weather. I think they're probably loving these temperatures like most of southwest Louisiana is this morning with 50s and low 60s on the map. If you're outside this morning, it feels very pleasant. No major fog to report and obviously no rain with the uh, clear skies that we have right now. 58 in Sulphur, Jennings, 58 in Quincy, 60 this morning in DeRitter, and we've got uh, 63 down in Cameron Parish. There's a radar view and shows from north to south, east to west, nowhere is rain to be found across our area. Uh, we're 63 here downtown. A little bit of a breeze out of the northeast at about 10. We'll take a look at if we can ever expect any more rain to return for you in the full weather forecast in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you, Ben. 601, we want to welcome Brittany Glazer and Erica Bivens. Now who join us live from Cameron Parish with more on this special edition of 7 News Sunrise. Ladies. Good morning, Charlie and Ben. Today is the fourth broadcast in our This Is Home tour of the parishes we serve. John has a day off, so my colleague Erica Vivens is joining us on the road this morning. We'll also be here today for 7 News at noon, 5, and 6. But this morning, we're at Booth's Grocery Store, as you can see right here in Grand Chenier, and we'll be talking a little bit about the history of this store here behind us, and we'll also visit with parish leaders to discuss the future of Cameron Parish. Now, in the 6.30 half hour, we'll be talking with the parish's administrator as well as a local man who's somewhat known uh, in this area for his unique artwork. Mm -hmm. mm. If this is any hint of what we might That's be true. having here. <laughs> we'll also learn some more about the history of Cameron Parish. But first, the small family-owned store has been a fixture here in Grand Chenier for more than half a century after rebuilding from Hurricane Rita. The store's owner was blown away by an internet surge of social media. Here's Dave McNamara with our sister station WV in New Orleans with a story. When you drive along Highway 82 in Grand Chenier, you see a mixture of pastures and marsh, a few homes and camps, and then there's Boots Grocery. The first store was built here in the late 1950s after deadly Hurricane Audrey wiped out coastal Cameron Parish. We just decided we're going to build it build this store and we did pretty good so we just stayed. Team A Booth has been behind the counter of her store for 55 years. You find coolers of beer and soft drinks and the kind of stuff you need for a road trip or a day of fishing. You have, happen to have 12 cents? I don't have that 12 cents. Well, you'll give it to me when you come back. What time are you going to close? Whenever you Same get ready. time when I get ready. <laughs> and there was another hurricane here nearly eight years ago. Hurricane Rita destroyed the grocery. I know she took everything that I ever owned. She may rebuilt because she likes people. Locals call her the mayor of Grand Chenier. Her son Earl explains. It's because everybody thinks she knows everything. And she, that's going on around. And at age 85, T. May is still at work seven days a week. I think this store is keeping her alive. I always wanted her to open it back up after it was destroyed. A funny thing happened a few years ago. Booth's grocery was discovered on the Internet, thanks to a prankster with an exaggerated Cajun accent who videotaped a spoof of his OnStar Navigator. Pass right past Barry's chart line. Mighty Books uh, camp. We was looking for that here spot right now. They got a store that we buy. We pass by. It's called Boots. 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 B O O T H, comma to the top S. Boots. B O O T H, comma to the top S. And it is funny. 
More than a million people around the world have now watched that YouTube video. I have never seen so many pe people stop taking pictures of this store. Tina Booth, the businesswoman, couldn't pass up an opportunity. She now sells T-shirts of her grocery that carefully spell out the name with the comma to the top. How many stores do you know that have one of these? It's a guest book where customers sign in. Well, this is book number six. People from all over the world have signed their names as they stop at Booth's Grocery. One guy said, did you ever meet the guy that did, made the video? I said, no. Well, he says, here I am. Oh, that's good. I said, I got to take a picture with him. <laughs> if you are ever in this remote corner of Louisiana, you know you can stop at Booth's and you can exchange a story and a smile with T. May. Yes, you can indeed. Now, Booth's Grocery is near the east entrance to the Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge. It's one of the few stores in the area. And with us this morning is T. May. T. May, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing fine, thank you. Now, I understand you're a Grand Chenier native. So tell us what it was kind of like growing up in this community. Oh, well, it was good. Some special people here, I'm sure. It was just pointed out. I don't know if you can see behind us, kind of in the in the the darkness. You were actually born in the house behind the store. In what year? 1927. 1927. 1927. Wow. So, what is it about Cameron Parish that makes it so special? Oh well, everybody's really friendly. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, uh, <coughs> It's a good place to raise a family. Yeah. Absolutely. And I understand you do actually have a guest book, right? Who signs into this guest book that comes out here? Everybody that comes in the store. We but even had to sign this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty thick book. Tell me, what year did you open the store? In, uh, 57. In 57. So this is really one of the only stores on this stretch of highway here. I'm sure you get some interesting people that come through. <laughs> really interesting. Now, what else do you sell in the store? I saw some of the, the signature T-shirts that you guys have. Anything else in there? Oh, I have everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> I smelled something cooking this morning. What food do you have? Buddha and sausage. Buddha and sausage. <clears throat> and I understand that you're known as the mayor of Grand Chenier. Oh, yeah. What do you think about that? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you didn't a... even have to run for office, did you? That's right. <laughs> Free political campaign, I like that. So tell us a little bit more about um, the community over here. Now you've been around obviously your whole life here, but what else really stands out in here? Oh. Besides the people in good food. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a bunch of people that lives here. Well, there was way more people before Rita. <laughs> Well, it's been good to see that y'all have been able to rebuild. Other people have come back and rebuilt and made sure that this community stays home for them. We wanted to give you a token of our home before you leave us. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for opening up the store early. And, and we have a sunrise coffee mug for well, you. Thank you. All right, Appreciate it. Hope you can drink some coffee with us each and every morning. Thank you so much, Ms. T. May. Thank you. All right, let's get back over to Charlie. Now, Brittany, can I make a to-go order with Miss T-May? I want to. Uh, <laughs> we got it. I need boudin. I need uh, a, I'd like a comma to the top T-shirt. Will that work? <laughs> okay, comma to the top T-shirt. We got I'll pick it up later now. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, topping this morning's headlines, a Welsh man being held without bond this morning after he was arrested on a charge of felony carnal knowledge of a juvenile. Michael Parsley arrested by Welsh police on Tuesday. Earlier this week, Welsh police received a complaint related to a juvenile. Detectives investigated Parsley and discovered enough information, they say, to place him under arrest. Lake Charles police looking for a suspect who stole a flatbed trailer and two zero-turn lawnmowers from a private residence. Video footage shows a light-colored four-door truck headed south on Lake Street, there in the top left-hand uh, corner of your screen, headed south on Lake Street with a trailer and mowers attached to the back of the truck. If you have information about the theft, call Lake Charles Police or Crime Stoppers. 609, Ben Terry with weather. And the sun's coming up next hour. 720 will be our sunrise today, 635 tonight. So if you're waiting on that sun, it's going to be 
Well, in just over an hour, we should, we should start to see it coming up over the horizon. Let's take a quick update on the tropics for you this morning. We've got Tropical Depression 9 in the southern bay of Campeche. Nothing for us to worry about. Uh, it's going to be heading off to the west. Here are the current conditions on the system. 35 mile per hour winds moving east at 6. The pressure is at 1,000 millibars. And the forecast track continues on, a east, on an east to southeast push over the next few days, approaching the uh, southern part there of Cuba by Sunday. This will stay out of the Gulf of Mexico. Our weather is being dominated by cold fronts. We've got one on the way later this afternoon that will bring us even cooler weather for tomorrow. We'll have more on that for you in just a few minutes. Okay. The answer to the Sunrise Trivia question this morning, we asked in what year Cameron Paris was first organized. The answer, 1870. Today's weather, Amy LeBlue from Westlake wins a Sunrise coffee mug, a bacon clubhouse sandwich from McDonald's, tickets to CM Farms in Dry Creek, and tickets to Musical 2014 on November 1st at the Lake Charles Civic Center. Coming up on Sunrise, a look at some of the events coming up in Cameron Parish in the coming weeks and coming months. And we head back to Grand Chenier as our This Is Home Tour continues. 610 7 News Sunrise. We would like to wish KPLC happy 60th anniversary from the Cameron Parish Police Jury. And this is home! The KPLC 7 News Sunrise Trivia is sponsored by the Calcasieu Parish Police Jury. Get 0% for 60 months on select Hondas. Plus, get two years, 24,000 miles free maintenance on every new Honda at Dillon of our Honda. The Court of Appeal is the state's second highest court. It's where our most important cases are decided, and it's no place for an inexperienced judge. Judge Ken Savoy has over 13 years of experience behind the bench. During that time, he served our community with honor, integrity, and distinction. This is no place for on-the-job training. We need an experienced judge on the Court of Appeal. Judge Ken Savoy, experience we deserve, integrity we expect. I loved my Honda Civic, but the time came for a new car. <sighs> So I looked around, decided to leave my Honda for a new Honda. The Accord Civic and CRV all have Eco Assist, plus an Ecom button for better fuel efficiency. Driving a Honda can save you a lot of money over time and fuel costs. So I got a personal trainer. Oh! No churros! Go on the churros! Start something special with a fuel efficient Accord Civic or CRV from Honda. KBB.com's most trusted brand. At your Honda dealer. I got buns! Who wants to see my buns? Oh, no. You got to take me on a date first, baby. Ooh, fill me up with big, juicy flavor. I got garnishings. I'm loaded. Try Checker's new $2 shrimp and chicken bites box. Tender shrimp, crispy chicken bites, and our famous seasoned fries in one box. Or try it in Frank's Red Hot Sauce. The new shrimp and chicken bites box. Just two bucks. Well, aren't you a lucky lady? Checker's. It's in the bag. The Seven Storm Team Sky Cam Network is sponsored by Billy Navarre the lake area's number one volume dealer. Six thirteen seven News Sunrise. Here's a look at what's happening this week and over the next few months in Cameron Parish. The 2014 Louisiana Ornithological Society's Full Meeting is coming up this Friday and Saturday. That happens at First Baptist Church in Cameron. Events include an expert on birds who's traveled the world and photographed species from all over the globe. Saturday, a field trip to some of the parish hotspots, dinner, and a presentation on the Costa Rican rainforest. The Cameron Liquefaction Project hosts a groundbreaking ceremony tomorrow at 10 in Hackberry. That's at 255 North Main Street at the project site. The Grand Chenier Recreation District hosting its annual trunk or treat next Thursday at Grand Chenier Park. That'll be from 5 until 8 that evening. First, second, and third place awards will be given to the best decorated vehicles. Also on hand, 
games, pinatas, a costume contest, hay rides for the kids. Sunrise Day Planner, mark your calendars for early January. Plans are already underway for the 57th Annual Fur and Wildlife Festival. The fur and alligator industries will, fo will be the focus of this year's event. It'll be January 9th and 10th, 2015 at the fairgrounds, formerly Pats of Cameron and downtown Cameron. Organizers say the festival is being listed on the National Geographic's tourism website. It sparked new interest in that event. Meteorologist Ben Terry is in the studio with a check of the Wednesday weather and how warm it might get today. It's going to be in the 80s, but we've got another cool front on the way later today, which will bring us even more fall-like weather. I'll have more on that to head as weather continues after the break. Eat, play, and party your best at Gaddy's with the handmade crust, bold signature sauce, and smoked provolone of Gaddy's Pizza, topped with the best games. Great family food and fun. Gaddy's Pizza Buffet and our Gaddyland Game Room. Come to Gaddy's and get only the best. The Marshal's Office is not about politics or power. It's about people and serving the community. And as a 13-year veteran of the Sheriff's Department, I know the Marshal's Office can be more involved in the community, like helping with crime prevention, and programs to redirect troubled youth. With new growth comes new challenges. I have a new vision and fresh ideas as we move forward. Integrity, service, vision. Jeff Hooper for Marshall. If you want to save thousands, shop Mark in October. The deals will absolutely amaze you. Huge savings like a 14 Dodge Avenger SE with automatic air, satellite radio, you connect with Bluetooth, Alloy wheels, Keyless Entry, and much more for only $15,995. Huge discounts like $12,000 off a 2014 Ram 1500 Crew Cap Bighorn. And we have 0% financing for 72 months on select models. So remember, you'll always get more at Mark in Lake Charles. Power outages turn your world upside down. You need to know when your power will come back on and you want to know what happened the fastest way to stay informed Entergy text alerts you'll get prompt updates on when your power will be restored and on what happened you can even send a text to be sure your outage is being repaired when the power is out what's faster than calling texting sign up today at entergytext.com that's the power of people Entergy. I'm Kelly and I lost 45 pounds on Metafast. Losing weight on Metafast was so simple. I was never hungry, I have more energy, and I'm more active. I am loving all of the compliments. Metafast is a clinically proven program. The brand has been recommended by more than 20,000 doctors since 1980. I enjoy smaller clothes and you can too. Want a safe, effective, quick weight loss program? Choose Metafast. We are the perfect fit. Call Metafast 721-0633. Eat, play, and party your best at Gaddy's with the handmade crust, bold signature sauce, and smoked provolone of Gaddy's Pizza, topped with the best games. Get two large, two-topping pizzas and a two-liter Coca-Cola for only $17.99. Come to Gaddy's and get only the best. Now, your pinpoint forecast with meteorologist Ben Terry. Welcome back, 618, as we start you off by taking a look, as always, at our Skycam view over Lake Charles this morning. We've got a little bit of fog off in the distance there, but nothing that's causing any major problems. Northeast winds at 8, we've got a temperature of 63 degrees here at our downtown Skycam across the area. Radar, well, it's on a clean sweep. We're not talking about rain. You gotta go up toward the northeast to see this rain. An area of low pressure is bringing some heavy rain showers to parts of New Jersey. New York City will be joining the Today Show next hour. And Likely seeing quite a bit of rain out there on the plaza this morning in New York City. Looking out across the, north, the southeastern region, rain across southern Florida. They've actually picked up quite a bit there around Miami. They've got more on the way than that tropical moisture being uh, pushed east there from Tropical Depression 9. All right, our temperature is right now at the airport, 59 degrees. Cameron, you're at 63. And Sulphur at 58. Winds are relatively calm with a general northeast component there, about 5 to 10 miles an hour on average throughout the day today and there you have it mostly sunny by one o'clock we'll see a brief touch of those low 80s today even though we've got a cold front moving in that's going to really drop off our temperatures by tonight we'll have uh, low to mid 50s tomorrow morning and then by friday morning we're talking about possibly some 40s across our northern parishes so the next couple of nights will definitely be cooler but it is fall after all 81 for the high today northeast winds at five still no prospect of rain 
at least for the next several days. We'll have those temperatures 54 a night, 77 tomorrow. So there you go. That, that front will bring us, even during the day, some cooler temperatures. Throughout the rest of the work week, looking at 70s through Friday, morning low temperatures will drop back into the low 50s and then a gradual warm-up as we head toward Saturday, Sunday, and into the early part of next week. We'll keep it sunny with those temperatures into the low 80s. Well, that's a look at your forecast. Stay with us. We're back after this. This is Jennifer Jones. I'm the district attorney elect for the 38th Judicial District. On behalf of Mr. Cecil Santer, our district attorney, Ms. Mona Kelly, our tax assessor, and the staff of both offices, we want to wish a very happy 60th anniversary to KPLC TV. And this is home. Yay! Just because you're in an accident doesn't mean you need a lawyer. But when someone else's fault causes serious injury or worse, a loss of life, you need a law firm that has experience handling serious injury cases. You need Bruce Arden Hart. Call right now. Talk with me about your case. For a serious injury or death case, call Bruce Arden Hart. We're serious attorneys for serious cases. One of the most important roles in our society is that of judge. Here in Calcasieu Parish, we are blessed to have one of the best, Judge John Hood. When an independent survey asked lawyers to rank all trial court judges in our area on qualities such as integrity, impartiality, judicial temperament, knowledge of the law, and work ethic, Judge Hood was awarded the highest rank. Let experience be your judge. Let's re-elect Judge John Hood. At GMC, incredible thinking is everywhere, like the GMC Sierra, offering the most innovative cargo bed in its class, engineered with the superior strength of rolled steel and backed by two years of scheduled maintenance. During the GMC model year closeout, your Sirius XM trial has been extended to one year. Use your additional Sirius XM value to get almost 9,000 total value on this specially equipped Sierra. See your GMC dealer for these and other offers. Changing seasons bring changing scenes. October and November change your scene and to thine own self be true. With dining tables, chairs, and benches from 505 Imports. 15 to 20% off showroom prices will add a flair of the dramatic to your little hamlet. With rich tea, reclaimed wood, unique forms, finishes, and colors. Your dining room is a stage. Be ready to entertain with our new shipment. Designed and handcrafted in India and Indonesia. Visit us at 505 Imports in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Real men shop at Shannon Hardware. Why? Because everything's bigger at Shannon. This ain't your mother-in-law's hardware store. We carry industrial, petrochemical, and construction supplies. For all vendors, we have the most complete and largest inventory in the South. Every tool is heavy duty and meets industry standards. Here's what you'll find at Shannon. We carry the largest selection of parts and accessories from Milwaukee Tools, and we're an authorized repair center. Get all your rope, soap, and dope right here at Shannon Hardware in the old Billy Navarre building on Highway 90. And good morning. We're back live from Booth's Grocery out here in Grand Chenier. And joining us now is Parish Administrator Ryan Booyak. Thanks for being with us this morning. Yes, no problem. we appreciate Glad it. To be here. Yeah, dark and early. And we understand that being in this specific location today is pretty special for you. Absolutely, Brittany. Uh, the young lady that was here b before me, uh, first of all, I have to say how, how much of a treasure she is for the, the young Grand lady Chenier as community. In <laughs> as, in, as, in, as in teammate. That's right. <laughs> Uh, she actually played a, a vital role in, in my upbringing. Um, I have a four-year-old daughter and a two-year-old daughter, and we live about a half a mile down the road from here. Oh. So they get to come into the store, and mm -hmm. she's letting them pick out whatever candy they want, which it, it eventually backfires on me. But uh, <laughs> she did the same thing with me some 30 years ago, so it's very special to to be uh, on the ridge, uh, as the Grand Chenier people say, and uh, this is my daughters are the seventh generation of my family to grow up on the same wow. piece of property down the road so it was it was very good to see uh aunt team may up mm -hmm. here visiting with you and I, I don't know why she was so quiet normally when you come in here uh you can't get out without having a big conversation with her but uh she did good 
It's pretty early. early. It is early, though. We'll allow that. <laughs> well, now, talk about some of the liquefaction um, projects that we have here. There's two right now going on, right? Right. Uh, we have the Chenier expansion that's going on and the Cameron LNG expansion. Um, both uh, are in the process of construction, a total of $29 billion uh, in expansion for a parish of 6,700 people. That's wow. not too bad. That's um, good. Okay. And, and not only, you know, we focus a lot of times on the amount of the investment mm -hmm. uh, of the development. However, with these two companies, it was a little different because I, I feel that uh, they're good stewards uh, of the community. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very involved. They're very engaged. So it's tough uh, for me uh, to, to focus on the dollar value when they're bringing so much value Absolutely. to and the community. Other people that bring value to this community for, for decades and decades, uh, we've got such a big fisheries industry here, Correct. our shrimpers. Correct. We, uh, we actually are in the process of, of constructing a $5 million seafood processing facility uh, on, the, on the old river, on the old Calcasieu River in the community of Cameron. Um, that project is made possible by funds from the Disaster Recovery Unit, CWG Disaster okay. Recovery, uh, police jury funds. So we're very, very excited about the prospects of that to, to have some value-added products mm -hmm. uh, similar to what's going on in Delcom right now. Well, it sounds like you're a busy guy and you probably need some coffee to get through the day. We hope that you can uh, sip it out of a Sunrise coffee mug, and we appreciate you joining us this Thank morning. you. I appreciate it. Thank you all for having me. All thank right. you. Thank you so much. Well, coming up later on 70s Sunrise, while he's very talented with his craft, his work also serves a very beneficial purpose. We'll talk with Vinny Welch about his gator art and why he does what he does. But first, here's a look at today's school lunch menus. Take a look over there on your screen. And of course, you can always find them online at kplctv.com slash sunrise. All right, uh, if you're going to be out maybe in Cameron Parish enjoying the sunshine and heading out on a boat today, we'll see those winds out of the northeast at about 5 to 15 knots today. Temperatures in the 60s to start the morning, up into the 70s by around lunchtime, mostly sunny. And then by 4 o'clock, we may briefly see those temperatures closer to 80 in inland locations. Cameron Parish, you may stay in the 70s right along the coastline, though, uh, for most of the day. That Gulf water temperature is at 75. Currently, Cameron 63, Lake Charles 59. And a Ritter 60 this morning. We'll have more on your cooler forecast headed this way for tonight coming up in the next half hour. All right. Thank you, Ben. Looking ahead at the next half hour, we'll be joined on our This is Home tour by Louisiana 38th Judicial District Judge Penelope Richard. Be here to talk about a major event and tradition coming up in Cameron Parish in January. At 627, this is 7 News Sunrise. The Cameron Parish Clerk of Court's office would like to wish KPLC a happy 60th anniversary. And this is home. 7 News Sunrise, now on the radio. Tune in to KLCL and KJEF on your AM dial. Weekday mornings beginning at 430. Nixon of Lake Charles, who are having a trading extravaganza. That's right, get top dollar for your trade and get 0% financing, zero down payment, and zero payment for 90 days. And remember, we're making deals every day. Good judges aren't born. They develop the qualities we need in a judge, wisdom, maturity, and a deep knowledge of the law over years of experience. Soon we will elect a new judge in District Court Division A. Oliver Jackson Schrumpf is the one candidate with broad experience across criminal, civil, and family law, and depth of experience gained from 38 years of law practice. I pledge to work hard and serve you well as judge, and I ask for your vote. Your car was made a world away, but it will feel right at home at Don's Car Wash and Oil Change. We know that every unique vehicle needs unique service and deserves special care. Our trained technicians understand the language of your car, and that translates into quality products and service. Not only do we maintain new car warranties, but every oil change comes with a full-service car wash. When you drive away, you'll see a world of difference in quality and price. Plus, you'll have the cleanest car in town. Don's Car Wash and Oil Change. Let Don's do it. 
Business Health Partners has been serving the medical needs of Southwest Louisiana and Southeast Texas for over 15 years. We provide many regulatory training courses for your business needs, such as bloodborne pathogens, basic CPR, ASWAPR, OSHA topics, and more. Focusing on improved productivity, reduced maintenance costs, and increased worker safety, as well as industrial hygiene services. Plus, all of our services can be performed on location. BHP keeps your employees safe and accident-free. Cynthia Arsenault, covering the news for Southwest Louisiana. A two-hour sheriff standoff with a man in Moss Bluff ends peacefully. The man's mental health under evaluation. And we'll head back out to Cameron Parish to join Brittany and Erica, who are on location as part of KPLC's This Is Home Roadshow Tour. Well, you can probably guess our forecast. No rain, still sunny, but it's going to get a little cooler tonight. We'll explain how much cooler straight ahead. Now, in High Definition, sponsored by Nissan of Lake Charles. This is 7 News Sunrise. It's Wednesday, October 22nd, 2014. Hello there, I'm Charlie Haldeman. Brittany and Erica Bibbins will join us again live from Cameron Parish in just a few minutes. But first, meteorologist Ben Terry standing by with a first look at weather and the temperatures right now. Feeling good out there. Actually pretty close to normal for October. If you take a look at climate records for southwest Louisiana, while we're normal this morning, we're going to see below normal temperatures return tonight thanks to an additional cold front on the way. That's going to just continue reinforcing this cool air. 59 outside right now. Lake Charles radar is clear. And uh, looking out at our sky cam, of course, we've been keeping a monitor on the visibilities this morning. That does not look to be an issue for that morning commute. 63 degrees currently in Lake Charles. And we've got a wind out of the northeast at 6. I'll be back with a look at just how much cooler we can expect those lows tonight. Plus, we're keeping tabs on the tropics. We have a new tropical depression we'll talk about for you in just a few minutes. Okay, thank you, Ben. 631, a standoff between Calcasieu Parish Sheriff's deputies and a man who may be suffering from mental illness has ended peacefully. Last night, Sheriff's deputies responded in full force after a man called 911 and claimed he shot an intruder. It turns out there's no evidence of a shooting. The man now at a hospital, though. Charges may be filed in that case. We're following this developing story out of Beauregard Parish this morning. The search continues for a missing teenager. 15-year-old Dakota Schnecksnyder was last seen Tuesday afternoon at Singer High School. Authorities are looking for her if you know of her whereabouts contact law enforcement. Louisiana school performance scores are out for both districts and schools. Southwest Louisiana parishes scoring B's mostly across the board except for Vernon Parish which gets an A. In fact, it's the only Vernon maintains an A for both 2013 and 2014 school years. The report cards reflect steady gains by teachers and students across the state. Our digital team has put a rundown together of the individual district performances, and we've posted them at kplctv.com. KPLC's 60th anniversary celebration continues now from Cameron Parish with Brittany and Erica. Hey, Charlie, we've got your booty in cooking inside of Booth's Grocery here in Grand Chenier, so we'll have that for you in just a couple of hours. Now, as we've done with the previous three parishes we visited, we'd like to offer you the story of how Cameron was formed and how it got its name. That's right. As lifelong resident and Cameron history buff Ward Fontenot explains, it didn't come without some controversy. It was part of Calcasieu Parish, as was all of South Louisiana, Southwest Louisiana at one time. Uh, and right after the Civil War, there was a carpetbagger governor, and I won't try to remember his name right now, but he was having trouble with the uh, legislature in Baton Rouge. So he decided that he, what he needed was a strong Speaker of the House who could run the House of Representatives according to his dictates. And he, he devised this plan. He said, I'll make a new, a new parish, and I'll have my man from uh, elected from that parish so they got a map out and they looked they looked at the map and saw southwest louisiana had this large marshy un, almost virtually uninhabited area and they said that's my new parish so they they cut it out and uh, they gave it a name cameron now cameron's a very common name there was a cameron who was in the cabinet of president lincoln at the time 
there was a Cameron who was a officer in the Union Army, but there was also a Cameron who was a, an officer in the Confederate Army. Uh, and so all three have been mentioned as possible uh, namesakes for the parish. Uh, but my vote is with the Union officer because uh, although Simon Cameron, who was, uh, like I say, in the, in the federal government, he has a pretty strong position because this was, a, this was not a Southern sympathizer. It's very unlikely they would have named it after a Southern officer. So I think he's out of the running. But nevertheless, that, that's, the, that's the little controversy that's always swirled about uh, how, how the parish got its name. Pretty fascinating. Now, coming up later in the hour, Megan Hartman with the Southwest Louisiana Convention and Visitors Bureau will be here to talk about one of Cameron Parish's hidden gems. But first, joining us right now is Penelope Richard. She's actually the judge over here in Louisiana's 38th Judicial District. Now, that does cover, of course, Cameron Parish here, but she's also past president of the Louisiana Fur and Wildlife Festival, which, of course, is a very huge event out here in Cameron Parish. Oh, we love that event. It's every January. If you've never been able to check it out. It is worth a drive if you're not from Cameron Parish. We also have Miss Cameron Parish, KB Little, joining us this morning. Great to have you both here. Let's talk first about how special this festival is. It's one of the oldest in the state, and it's said to be the coldest, Penelope. That's right. It's the coldest, but it's, you're greeted with the people with the warmest hearts. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic food each year. Yes, always um, good food, good entertainment. This year we're going to have Leroy Thomas and Water's Edge on Friday and Steel Shot and um, Bag of Donuts closing out the festival. Wow. And you guys actually have a cookbook, as I understand, that comes out every year. And look how thick these books are. If you can take every a look year. at this. Uh, since 1975, the cookbook's been uh, done annually, and it's it's actually a scrapbook because there's a lot of pictures of the previous festival. Oh, this fabulous. was our 50th anniversary, and there's a lot of uh, old photographs in there. And then the back is filled with recipes from our great cooks here. Awesome. Any, any fabulous box. recipes that you can think of? The jalapeno black-eyed pea casserole oh, is my, my favorite. Oh, I, make that, I make that all the time. Okay, now, Katie, <laughs> we understand that you have just uh, returned uh, earlier this year from a cool trip to Maryland. Tell me how you were able to represent Cameron Parish there. Well, we had a delegation here from Cameron Parish traveled to Maryland to the National Outdoor Show. And it's always been a tradition for my family to go up there and compete in the national uh, skinning competition when it comes to muskrats <laughs> yeah. and Hey, I've seen you Andy work before. You're awesome. <laughs> oh, you would know. You remember at the first Oh, yes. Brittany had her shirt in there, too. <laughs> but, yes, we went up there and we competed. And we... Um, made relationships with the people up there and so now they travel back and forth as we do up there. Wonderful. Very exciting. Now it's coming up in just a few months here the festival. No, are you guys actually preparing right now for it? Yes, we meet monthly to uh, get all the uh, issues ironed out. Now, um, is there anything uh, special or different this year that people can look forward to? Okay. Yes, yes. Thanks for asking. We're having a 5K run this year. It's uh -huh. going to be sponsored by the Masonic Lodge and the Eastern Store of Grand Lake and Cameron area. And we're also going to have a live skinning con uh, a live skinning of an alligator because oh, we're, wow. we're celebrating the fur and alligator industries. Mm -hmm. And uh, her uncle, Benny we ben, ben Welch, who's on our board is going to skin an alligator uh, on the fairground Saturday afternoon. Wow, pretty yeah. interesting and just a way to really celebrate what makes Cameron Parish so unique and the people and then the food as well. Cameron Parish is so unique because it's a community where God and family still come first and you don't see that very often in today's time. You're right about that. We are looking forward to being there in Absolutely. January. Absolutely. And we want to present this to you guys. Of course, our sunrise mug. Thanks so much for waking up with us this morning. I know it's early out here. Oh, we appreciate <laughs> it. Absolutely. It feels good out here. Let's see about that cold front Ben's been talking about and head back over to the studio. That's right, Brittany. The cold front's going to push through, then it give us cool weather. It's also going to protect us from any type of tropical development that may be brewing in the Bay of Campeche this morning. A quick update now on Tropical Depression 9. Uh, you can see it there, not very organized. There is a center of circulation that the hurricane hunters flew out yesterday. They did find one, although the thunderstorms around that center have been very disorganized. Winds picked up last night to 35 miles an hour, so it is classified now as a tropical depression. The weakest of tropical systems moving east at 6. It's going to head over the Yucatan Peninsula later today. It could be upgraded, though, before it makes landfall to a tropical storm. If it were to do that, it would be named Hannah moving over the Yucatan. there, south of Cozumel, uh, over there close to Cancun by Friday, back out over the 
northern Caribbean. So things are quiet here. That's not going to be heading to southwest Louisiana, but we will be tracking cooler temperatures. More on that coming up in your full forecast at 647. All right, coming up next on this special edition of Sunrise, we head back to Cameron Parish with Brittany and Erica and the 60th anniversary. This is Home Tour. Hi, I'm King Bolton, and you're invited to discover the difference that shopping Bolton Ford can make. Our sales and management team will treat you like a member of the family. And we keep low prices a priority every day, like this new 2014 Ford F-150 Super Crew XLT for just $25,888, or a new 2015 Fusion S, just $18,888. Bolton Ford, trusted by thousands for over 38 years. All Fords are created equal. At Bolton Ford, our people make the difference. Coyote Rules number 45. Savor family values. Family dinner is back in style with mesquite grilled goodness, handcrafted tortillas, scrumptious sides, everything you need to be a fajita fajero. Coyote Blues Chicken Fajitas, only nine bucks. Dine in or carry out. When it comes to family values, Coyote Rules. An accident takes just a few seconds to occur, but the injuries may last a lifetime. Let me give you some important advice. First, don't speak to anyone from the insurance company until you speak to a lawyer. Second, take pictures. They'll be important later. And finally, hire a law firm with a reputation for getting results. Call us or visit our website, Simeon.com, to learn about us. You have only one day in court. Make it count. Simeon and Simeon, protecting your rights. Here's another reason to love Kroger. The savings are all around you. From the freshest produce to those everyday favorites your family loves, you'll find low prices throughout the store. Stop in and see how much you'll save with low prices and more. Every day at Kroger. Heritage Farm boneless chicken breasts are just $1.99 a pound. And assorted pork loin chops are also $1.99 a pound. Great food, low prices at Kroger. We're always looking for better ways to do things. But with some banks, better for them isn't always better for you. You've reached Mega Bank. Press 1 to hear your current balance. Press 2 to hear these options again. Introducing free Kasasa checking. When you do stuff for us, like swipe your debit card or get e-statements, we make it even better for you with cash back and refunds on ATM fees. Kasasa. Carried locally at Jeff Davis Bank. Do you, Kasasa? Every summer, Mitch Red volunteers his time coaching baseball. He teaches the fundamentals of the game, pitching, hitting, and fielding. But for these parents, he teaches their children the more important fundamentals of life, teamwork, discipline, and integrity. It's why they trust him as their coach, and why with 24 years of family law experience, we can all trust him as family court judge. Mitch Red, family court judge. Now get 0% financing for 72 months on select Ford vehicles. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. <laughs> hey, welcome back. We are in Cameron Parish this morning in Grand Chenier, specifically at Boost Grocery. We've got Benny Welch, who makes alligator products, joining us. We also have T-Boy here, a little a little sunrise guest this morning, who's who's just as friendly as you, Mr. Benny. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. All of us gators are friendly. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, tell me, you have been making alligator products for how many years at this point? Oh, a long time. We just say a long time. A long time from, <laughs> from necklaces to earrings to keychains. The deal is, is uh, I used to have an alligator farm and we lost everything in the storms and all that. And it was I, I was too old to go back into the business and all that. So I started taking all of the things that you throw away, mm -hmm. like the heads they throw away, and I make skulls Absolutely out of them. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you, the, uh, the teeth that you know they throw away, we make alligator teeth. 
and necklaces and keychains. And Eric has got something beautiful here. here too. This and, is beautiful. I mean, how do you and, even make something like like this? Oh, it's, and this is a, a it's the, even the blade is made out of the uh, oh, my goodness. the bone. You see? Did you you couldn't get a school for something like this? You just taught yourself? No, as we go, my wife and I go all over the United States selling our stuff. It's kind of like a vacation job, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I just see things that other people try to do, and I pick up about three things a year that. Uh, I can. I think I can do when I come back, and oh that's how goodness. we do that. Fabulous. <laughs> now we were talking a little bit earlier about um, shows like Swamp People and things. I mean, have those shows had an impact on you? And just what are your general opinions on those shows and alligators and everything like that? Oh, I, I, I think the I, I think the shows had a real good effect on, on products, especially like mine and alligators, because everywhere we go, uh, it. it People ask about the swamp people, but it has an effect on the meat. Mm -hmm. I used to be in the meat business before Hurricane Rita, and back then alligator meat was about two dollars a pound. Wow. Now, since the swamp people are doing all of this, it's in Florida. It's like a one-pound vacuum pack package of alligator meat is twenty dollars. Oh my goodness! Oh, but and you can't get any. They, they, no, none. people really manage the population here well, though. It is all about conservation. Tell me, have you ever been bitten? I just have to ask that before we go. Oh sure. Oh sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any scars where this guy's like, oh, let's not, not talk yeah. about that. Hey, okay, well, we appreciate you joining us this morning, Benny. Thanks for uh, accessorizing us this sure. morning and, and bringing old T Boy here. All right. Swarming <laughs> around. All right, let's go back to Ben now in the studio with a look at the forecast. Be careful, Brittany. Still got all ten digits. Bring them back to Lake Charles. We've got a little bit of fog out there this morning, but we'll see if that gets any worse. Plus, we've got another tracking, another track of a cold front headed this way. So if you like this fall weather, we've got more in store coming up next. The Seven Storm Team Weather Watcher Network is sponsored by Mark Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. If you're looking for a car or truck, come see us today at the all-new Don's Wholesale, your truck and luxury superstore. We have over 250 trucks in stock, over 50 luxury vehicles. Come see us at the all-new Don's Wholesale, corner of Prion Lake Road and Enterprise. A tough criminal prosecutor for more than a decade. Yes, for Yelverton. A successful businessman before becoming an attorney. Jamie Yelverton. More than 24 years of experience in most areas of the law. Yes. For Yelverton. A Christian, first and foremost. Yes, for Yelverton. A strong, solid constitutional conservative. Jamie Yelverton. Jamie Yelverton, Court of Appeal. Right now, Market Basket Premium Select Boneless Chuck Roast, $3.49 a pound. Chips Ahoy Cookies, 9.5 to 13 ounce, two for $3. Now that's a lower price. I was born and raised in Louisiana. Around here, people value the things that matter, like hard work, integrity, and especially family. Sitco's part of that family. And they've been part of my family for over 40 years. Sitco was good for my father, it's been good to me, and it's been good to this community. Their roots run deep in Louisiana. They've been here for 70 years. And it's that kind of commitment that makes us strong. It's what makes Louisiana strong. It can happen. In seconds, your life changes forever. Every year, thousands are seriously injured in car wrecks through no fault of their own. At Hoffa's Duval, we can help you. We practice one kind of law. We represent people who are injured. That's it. You'll have questions. We'll give you straight answers and fight to get you what you are owed and deserve. That's what it's about, and it's what we do. Call us, Hoffa's Duval, at 433-2053. The all-new Don's Wholesale with over 600 vehicles in inventory, over 100 half-ton four-wheel drives, and 50 luxury vehicles to choose from. Financing available, rates as low as 1.9%. Come see us today at the all-new Don's Wholesale at the corner of Prion Lake Road and Enterprise. When you have the fear of going to the dentist, your teeth and your smile will suffer. It won't get better by itself. At Robinson Dental Group Family Dentistry, we make it easier for you to overcome that apprehension by offering sedation dentistry. Sedation can make you more relaxed and comfortable. Your dental work is done, and you may have little or no memory of the experience. Robinson Dental Group offers a free new patient exam with complete mouth x-rays. Call us. We'll see you today.
The 7 News Sunrise Business Report is sponsored by Robinson Dental Group. Now, your pinpoint forecast with meteorologist Ben Terry. And a live look over Grand Chenier this morning. This is off of our cam we've got on our live truck. You can see a beautiful sky there. Hardly any clouds, no fog. And that pretty much matches our uh, locational site here in downtown Lake Charles, which too is showing a beautiful sunrise coming up. Of course, it's coming up in the next half hour, but I already see some daylight there off in the horizon. Winds out of the northeast about to 5 to 10 miles per hour this morning. Our uh, school bus forecast for this morning, we're calling for those temperatures to start off nice and cool in the 50s. Then as the afternoon rolls on, there you have it, 81. We'll give it an A-plus, though, because of the fact that we're not dealing with rain and just a few clouds with that front moving through later in the day. Rain, you got to go all the way up into New England to see rain today. This is what some of the media is calling a nor'easter, mainly just a rainstorm for New Jersey through Pennsylvania up through New York. They actually need the rain over parts of the Northeast, so they're thankful for that. Looking out over Texas, some showers there around uh, Amarillo, but that's really all we're talking about. The rest of the Southeast dry except for South Florida with some of that tropical moisture they're getting there from Tropical Depression 9. Here are our temperatures from Weather Watchers this hour. We've got 60 in Grand Chenier, 58 Topsy, and 57 this morning in the Singer area, 55 there from Doug Brackville and Bivens, and the rest of our area into the upper 50s. Quickly on ahead now as we take a look at our forecast. Today we're calling for those temperatures to warm on up into the 80s. 80 by the noon hour, 81 uh, by uh, 5 o'clock of this afternoon. Still dry and over the next seven days, well, we're not going to see much of a change. Morning lows will dip coolest Friday and Saturday mornings, upper 40s to low 50s with those afternoon highs into the upper 70s to low 80s. Well, stay tuned. We're actually going to throw it back over now to uh, Brittany and Erica welcoming another guest to our This Is Home tour. Yeah, that's right. You can see the beautiful sunrise there coming up right behind us. But right now, we're joined with Megan Hartman with the Southwest Louisiana Convention and Visitors Bureau. Now, she's actually here to discuss some very wonderful aspects that we have here in Cameron Parish's natural habitat. And Megan, we see visitors not just from Southwest Louisiana, all over the world no, that come down to Cameron Parish. Absolutely. The Creole Nature Trail, All American Road, is really a destination unto itself. We have international visitors locals that enjoy the Creole Nature Trail and, you know, folks from all over the nation that come, uh, what we call our snowbirders. Uh -huh. <laughs> love coming down here, especially during the winter time. So, uh, no, it's a great destination. And if people have not driven along the full trail before, they can get off um, in Sulphur. It's at exit 20 and then on I-10 and then the Creole Cameron exit, exit 36. And then how many miles yeah, is the Creole Nature Trail? That's one of the things that people don't understand, I think, sometimes about the Creole Nature Trail. This is a 180-mile wow. driving tour. So you're going all the way down the coast, through the mm -hmm. prairie land, through the marshes, 26 miles of Gulf Coast beaches in Cameron Absolutely Parish, wonderful. and all the way up through four different wildlife refuges. There's stops along the way. There's observation towers and lookouts. And there's something new too, right? The Adventure Point. Absolutely. Yeah, the Creole Nature Trail Adventure Point is being built right there on Exit 20 in mm -hmm. Sulphur um, on Ruth Street, and we're excited about that. It's going to be an interpretive center for people to um, get a lot of information when they go on the trail. You know, okay. where are the crabs biting? Yeah. <laughs> Where is the best spot for seeing alligators? Okay. You know, the things that they're interested in, they can learn there, um, and there'll be a lot of um, interpretive uh, centers for them there. Wonderful. Before we wrap up real quick, want to talk about birding. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I mean, I don't know if everybody knows this, but we have over 400 species of birds in southwest Louisiana. Wow. One of the things that we're blessed with is to be located on two migratory flyways. Mm -hmm. And so people from all over the world are coming here. I wanted to point out that we are building, um, in conjunction with the Audubon Society in Baton Rouge, a pavilion and kiosk um, at the P Pivoto Woods Bird and Butterfly Near Sanctuary. Near Yeah, on the beach. It's okay. one of the places where there's chenilles where the birds actually like fall out after oh they've gosh. gone across the Gulf of Mexico and they rest and they get rejuvenated. And uh, so it's just a great birding hot spot awesome. for us here um, on the Creole Nature Trail. Well, thank you for all the go. information. We want to get you a sunrise <laughs> coffee mug. 
Thank and you. I'll let people know there's a free app you can download for more information with uh, the Southwest Louisiana Convention Visitors Bureau, the Creole Nature Trail. Megan, thank you so, so much. much for thank you. Life. Life. <laughs> I think we got it all, and there's so much to cover this morning. Still to come up after the break, we'll show you what's coming up on later editions of 7 News. I'm here for our 60th anniversary. This is Home Tour here in Cameron Parish. For now, back to you, Charlie, in the studio. on 7 News Sunrise is sponsored by Mark Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. If you want to save thousands, shop Mark in October. The deals will absolutely amaze you. Huge savings like a 14 Dodge Avenger SE with automatic air, satellite radio, you connect with Bluetooth, alloy wheels, Keyless Century, and much more for only $15,995. Huge discounts like 12000 off a 2014 Ram 1500 crew cap, Bighorn. And we have 0% financing for 72 months on select models. So remember, you'll always get more at Mark in Lake Charles. Hey, how was work today? Are you ready for something different? Think about this. When you were renting an apartment, you were giving your money away every month, so you bought a home. When you work for someone else, you're giving those hours, ideas, and hard work away. It's time to call about a Jamie King franchise and invest in yourself. Wait, you've heard franchises cost hundreds of thousands of dollars? Not for a Janie King franchise. Not even close. Call today to invest in yourself with the King of Clean. Call 888-273-5264. 888-273-5264. Just because you're in an accident doesn't mean you need a lawyer. But when someone else's fault causes serious injury or worse, a loss of life, you need a law firm that has experience handling serious injury cases. You need Bruce Arden Hart. Call right now. Talk with me about your case. For a serious injury or death case, call Bruce Arden Hart. We're serious attorneys for serious cases. I'm Mary Landrew, and I approve this message. We've all built companies. That employ thousands of Louisianans. We're three Republicans. And a Democrat. And we're all supporting Mary Landrieu. Because of Mary, Louisiana got billions. And oil royalties. And to rebuild after Katrina and Rita. We've got over 50 deep water drilling rigs. She took on the president to get that done. Now she's chairman of the Energy Committee. We can't afford to lose that. That's That's why why we're all all with Mary. Mary. Honda, America's most trusted brand. Trust it to last longer, keep you safer, resale higher. And right now, your Louisiana Honda dealers are making buying a new Honda even easier. Lease new 2014 Accords for $189 a month, only $189 a month. Or drive new Accords with zero due at signing. The car you want from the brand you trust. Hurry to your tried and true Louisiana Honda dealers. It's Tuck Month, where you save $8,500 with supplier pricing on Silverado Crew Cabs and Educators. Get supplier pricing on most every new Chevrolet and Billy Navarre Chevrolet. 7 News Sunrise, now on the radio. Tune in to KLCL and KJEF on your AM dial. Weekday mornings beginning at 4.30. And one final check of our forecast this morning, looking out toward the I-10 bridge. Traffic seems to be flowing there in both directions this morning, and the fog is not an issue for our area. Sun coming up here in about the next 20 minutes. The last check of your seven-day forecast will show that uh, we'll see a little bit of a cool down tonight, even more so by Thursday morning. Low temperatures in the low 50s. Highs will be in the upper 70s. Back out now to Brittany and Erica in Grand Chenille. 
have had a blast this morning here at Booth's Grocery, historic Booth's Grocery in Grand Chenier. We want to say thank you so much for joining us and to all of our guests that have made today so special. Now, Agnes will be back from the Cameron Prairie National Wildlife Refuge. That's coming up today at noon. She'll be joined by Diane Borden and Bigo to talk about the refuge. And, of course, we'll hear more today from Judge Ward Fontenot. Now, he'll be discussing his experiences after Hurricane Audrey in 1957. You don't want to miss out on that. Again, that's today at noon. Now, we hope you have enjoyed our visit to Cameron Parish this morning as much as we did. We'll leave you this morning with some of the sights from around Cameron Parish. KPLC mobile app and KPLC 